Hey guys, Wahoo here and in today's video I'm super excited to share with you how I made over 500k gold every day for the past 2 weeks without doing barely anything. In this video I'll cover the strategy I'm using to make gold but then more importantly I'm going to show you how to fully automate the process with only 20 lines of code that will do the job for you. So check it out. So the way I made so much gold is probably not a secret for most of you. And it's fairly simple. It's actually by simply flipping items on the auction house. But it, what it means is if you think an item is selling for way less than it should be, just buy it and sell it higher and you take profit. Those last weeks I focused more on 226 item level gear because I think those are the items where you can make the biggest margin. They sell high, their prices fluctuate a lot during the week. So the idea is that you spend a couple of days checking the auction house, refreshing, and that you get an ID of the price items are selling for. The real issue with this method is that it's really time consuming. You may spend hours and hours refreshing again and again the auction house until you finally find an item that's worth buying. And I know people that would do this their whole day. But we don't want to spend our whole day spamming this button like a retard. That's where the code comes in. We will automate a human refreshing the auction house and checking the prices. And if an item is worth buying, I want to get a notification. Because in the end, I don't want to spend the day behind my laptop refreshing the auction house. I want to do whatever I want and once there's something of interest to buy in the auction house, I want my laptop to tell me to log on my WoW account and buy that item. So guys, let's see how we can achieve that with a few lines of Python code. I will first show you this notebook where all the steps are explained and then we'll see the end result. The script is fairly simple. You first need to take a screenshot of the auction house. Once you have the image of the auction house, you want to only focus on the center with all the items. So therefore we'll crop the image. I crop the image with those coordinates that I found based on trial and error. But there is a high chance that you will need to adapt those numbers to your screen. So try it out yourself. Um, once we have this image, we want to split it on lines. Therefore, we know, thanks to the coordinates, the height of my box. And I counted manually that I have 20 items, hence the height divided by the items. I have the height of each line. So now with the item height, we could loop through all the items in the image. But to show you how it works, we're only going to focus on the first line. The goal now is to get the first line and split it into on one side the price image and on the other side the item's name image. As you noticed, I also turned the purple into white because it will be easier for the algorithm to detect the text inside the image. The reason why it's not so clean is because there is a tiny bit of dark shadow on the purple text and the background of the auction house is actually not a plain color. It's a gradient of brown and gray that messes up a bit with our text. And the next step now is where all the magic is going to happen. We are going to use an optical character recognition algorithm on the name image, on this image. It's made of many machine learning algorithms, but we don't need to know anything about it because everything has been compiled for us into one library and that library is named PyTesseract. By using pytesseract.image to data, we gave him as an input or image with the name and it will do all the job for us. So if I run this command, it is able to give me a plain text of what's inside the image. That's really what we want. We can do the same now for the price. And now I have the, both information in my image. I have the name of the item. I have the price of the item. If I want to continue with this, I just need to implement now my logic. I can create a wish list where I will manually input the price I'm willing to pay for an item. And then once the script finds an item that is cheaper than in my wish list, I want him to alarm me. 
So here we have the Legionnaires, Bloodstained, Sabatons. Um, they are currently selling for 2,500,000. Let's say that I'm willing to pay 5,000,000. If I run this, my laptop notified me to log on my WoW account and to buy those boots because they're cheaper than what I'm willing to pay for. So if I know my market and I know that my wish list is correct, I just got notified that I could make money on Lighten. And that's really what we want. So here it is, profit. Now, this is a really basic example of notifications. That's just an idea of how you could get notified. You could also set up email alert, but I'll leave it to you guys. It's not the purpose of the video. So now the last step is to refresh the auction house. We want to have this function that clicks on the refresh button of the auction house so that we can refresh the auction house, take a screenshot of the auction house, read the items, read the prices, compare the prices with the wish list and get notified if there's something to buy and repeat. And this is it. I'm really proud to be able to share this script with you. The link to the GitHub will be in the description. This is basically the same script that you saw, but a bit refined and cleaned up with the proper looping of the items on the auction house, for example. And all you get to do is to run this code and enjoy the profit. Now, for those of you asking if it's legal or not, well, I never got any issues. The only thing that Blizzard could detect is the refreshing of the items. I'm pretty sure they don't track it, but even if they do, even if they do, don't use this script on your real account. Just be safe and create a new free account to use this script on a fresh level one. This is it guys, I really enjoyed making this video. If you do have a question, put it in the comments below. If you like the content, leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face just here and see you next time. Peace.